Welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who are new here, my name is Kira Lucina. I am a second year medical student and I just kind of share what medical school is like from an insider perspective um, on YouTube. So, welcome. Uh, so, since I have last posted, I've actually completed a whole course. So second year definitely goes faster than first year so we're in like systems based like organ systems based classes now and each one pretty much is about four weeks so these past four weeks have been all repro um it's been kind of a tougher schedule because we've had monday like quizzes but they're like worth a big chunk of your exam so just like when I'm trying to get around to posting on the weekend, it's just like, ah, uh, but like, the test, the test is on Monday. Uh, anyway, in short, Friday tests are better in my opinion. But, uh, we had a test yesterday on Friday, which is great, which means this weekend is like all free. Um, so, since endo ended, the first thing after the final is Hugo and I drove up to see his sister. So. Here's some clips of the UF rowing team. So that was pretty fun. We got to like fly the drone around the lake and just get some cool different shots. It was a very early morning, if I may add, which is like a normal thing for like the crew world to have, but like it's been a little bit since Hugo and I have rode ourselves, so it was kind of like shocked back into the system. But it was really cool to go out there and see everything. Um, and then we got back and well, I started Repro. And Repro itself, uh, reproduction, is a pretty interesting topic in class. Um, there's kind of like three overarching things that we learned. It was like, like the male aspects, the female aspects, and then the breasts were like the top three topics I'd say. Honestly, the breast was the hardest because you had to learn like all the tumors and like the stages to becoming tumors, I guess. Like there's like fat necrosis, which is like a whole thing and it presents like after trauma, um, but it can have calcification. So like a lot of them, the breast pathologies are very different based off of age and cause of it. And like there's these like buzzwords, but then also there's a bunch of like images that you get to see and based off like the cell types like what it might be so yeah that one was just a little more complicated than i thought it was going to be because it was also taught like quick um so like if, when you're like just listening to it, it's fine but then once you start like doing questions it's like oh there's a lot going on here and like where you are like in the ductual or the lobule and like the pathophys is pretty complex but um that was repro some things of repro. Um, I do want to share like a fun fact that I realized before the exam. Uh, so the thing that makes like you cramp when you're on a period is prostaglandins are being released. Like 
So that's like where you get that like crampy pain. Um, so that same crampy pain um, can be stopped by things that inhibit prostaglandins, which is why you take like NSAIDs and all these other drugs. So like, it kind of was cool to see like why things work and how they're working. Uh, we weren't explicitly taught that, but like through my, I don't know, understanding as it grew over the course, I kind of like pieced it together. I was like, oh, that just makes sense. And it should have been obvious from the start, but I just never really dug into it. Um, I'm not sure many people have, but just thought I'd share. Uh, other interesting things in repro. Let's see, it literally was a test yesterday. Hmm. Um, the questions that I think I got right would be like placenta accreta. For some reason, like all of them have like I guess Latin names for what's going on. But in this one, it's like an acute like separation of the placenta in the third trimester of pregnancy. So you're gonna get like chronic pain with this one. The key difference is pain. The other things that happen in the third trimester like typically don't have pain associated with them. The other ones being like your placenta can be like rooted into the muscle like too deep. So like after delivery like you can't separate it. So then there's a whole like cascade of things that happen there. Um, what else? What else do we learn? We learned a little bit of pharmacology like medications but not not too much of that stuff. Um, for the male side, oh, um, one aspect of repro in med school is like the tumors. So there's like ovarian and testicular tumors and a bunch of these have like different markers. So like, um, like a yolk sac tumor is gonna have a different marker than like a choriocarcinoma tumor. So that was kind of just like straight memorization of like which one increases like alpha feta protein or beta HCG or stuff like that. So yeah, <laughs> in short, there's a lot to know in repro. It was a pretty cool subject though. I'm excited for next year when like it actually get, becomes like a hands-on thing and like the OBGYN rotations because I just think that'd be pretty cool to do. So, in short, welcome back to my channel for those of you who have been here. Sorry I haven't posted a little bit. It's been a very busy repro based off of like how the class was organized, um, but it was a very fun day today because the final was on a Friday. So Hugo and I went to a bubble run, ran through bubbles, then it was supposed to be a 5K, it was like 2.4 miles, so they gotta remeasure that. Um, and then we went to a like printmaking workshop like in the style of Rembrandt so um, basically you had to like etch things and then print them and it was really cool so yeah that's about it <laughs> see you guys next time